Hello and welcome to Bellows Fry Factor. We're glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about the parts of the sword. So what you see before you is called a fetish fit. It, this version is a nylon waster. Um, there are also steel versions available, blunted steel blades that we use out at different tournaments, various um, different areas, locales. But these are the ones that we're going to be using here at Bellows Fry Factor. Um, so let's look at the different parts of it. There are two main parts in the sword. Everything from right here down is what's called the hilt. So we have the pommel, big heavy weighted piece of metal that's going to give your sword balance. It's also good for striking blows at your opponent. Um, we have the handle where you're going to be gripping the sword. And we have the quillions, or the cross guard here, which is going to be very protective. When somebody strikes in at you, it's going to protect your hands. If you were even trying to swim down here, it's metal, it's hefty, it's protecting you. So let's go to the other part, the long, pointy, cutty part that you're all actually probably somewhat familiar with, or you think you are. So we have this little piece here is pretty specific to the German style longsword fencing that we're practicing. And this is called the Schilt or the Shield. Um, again, it's another layer of protection for those incoming strokes that come down the blade. So even before it were to hit the quillions or the cross guard, it's going to hit the Schilt. Coming out here, up to about halfway on your blade, you have the strong of the blade. And this is called the strong because if Tyler and I were to come into a bind and he bound his out here, his weak side, against my strong, I'm going to be able to overpower this, right? So I can push right through that. Now, if I bound my weak on his strong and I tried to do similar, like, he's going to be able to hold that all day. I can't really push through that. So that's why this side of the blade is the strong of the blade, this side is the weak. Now, conversely, when we're thinking of striking your opponent, I actually want to strike him with that weak, or the foible, as it's called in German, this part of the blade. That's the very cutty part when I'm striking. That's where I want to hit him with. Because if I come up and just hit him with this, it might hurt, it might bruise him. It's probably not going to do a whole lot of damage, though. Um, so then, as I'm holding the blade as so, this side that's facing me is what's called the short edge. So along this side and towards me, the side that's facing my opponent here, so this side is called the long edge. And kind of the reason for this name is because if I strike a long edge strike at Tyler, I have more reach than if I strike a short edge strike at Tyler. So you see the difference there, how I'm a couple of inches away from where I am this way. Right. There are reasons to use both of the sides of the blade in different various plays and different flow drills um, that we'll get into later on this year. So, and then this is called the ort or the point um, for thrusting and stabbing. And, you know, so we have a lot of different various movements that we could do with all of these, but that is your basic fetish fight and the parts of your sword. So thank you for enjoy joining us, thank you for watching this video, um, and tune in for more coming up.